How is everyone feeling this fine evening? Comment below and let me know. And for those of you who don't know, this channel is called No Trash Tolerated because we don't tolerate no trash. All right. Now look, I was about to do a Chester P reaction, and this is no disrespect to Chester P whatsoever, because he's a legend. I fire in the streets. I was I was ready to do a Chester P roll and keep going. Then I saw this. Right? I was about to do a Chester P reaction. I saw Abomination Part 2 with Lupe, with M1. I think he's from Dead Prez. That's what it says in the title. Uh, they're an older hip hop group. And Black the Ripper. But I was like, look, I got the momentum. I just, it's fresh in the memory. The first Abomination. I want to see what this one's about. So, without further ado, we are going to get right into this, man. Dive right in. Up. That's his real name, say. Low Key. Low Key is not his real name, surprisingly enough. It's an important line there. I'm all about peace and love. Yeah. Okay. They're calling him a. Dude, I remember like Taco Carlson on Fox News read off some uh, some Nas lyrics, uh, and Low Key had a line recently in in his Daily Duppy that I reacted to where he said. Uh, you sound like Ben Shapiro reading WAP, but I, it's hilarious to me when they try to like break down these lyrics and like, it's like you guys sound like idiots. But uh, Glenn Beck, okay, let's see. Oh, I'm a terror. Okay, one okay. nation in the world has over a thousand military bases. Can you guess who? It's. Um, uh, let me give you a hint. Cutter. It is not Luxembourg. It's not just Muslims that. Have that oppose your imperialism. He's going to tell you. Lumumba was democracy. Lumumba was democracy. Mosaddegh. Allende. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so so this is the rapper. All right, that's mm -hmm. his music. Bust a beat for me, right? All right, sure. Bust a beat for me. Mm. Penag they got the pentagram in the background. Limbo is a racist. Glenn Beck is a racist. Gaza Strip was getting bomb. Obama, Obama didn't, didn't say, say shit. shit. Yo, that's one of my favorite uh, Lupe uh, songs. That was a great... Oh, man. Fuck. It's been forever, dude. Middle school was when, that, when I was playing that. I forget what song it is, but that's one of my... That's one of my favorite lines too. Racist, Glenn Beck is a racist. Gaza Strip was getting bomb. Obama, Obama didn't Obama say shit. shit. After you divorce yourself from the right wing propaganda campaign, it's all simple and plain. America could stand the game. Your president got an African name. Now who you gonna blame when they drop the bomb? Mm. Now, first things first, both sides got propaganda these days. That's obvious to me. Maybe not to everyone. But are you saying? Your your president has an African name. Now who are you gonna blame? He's basically saying Obama's just kind of like there, so it's so we seem. I said this in the the other Obama nation, so it kind of seems progressive. So like it's harder to attack him. You know, it's like yeah, starting off with some some facts, man. Starting off with facts. It's the game. Your president got an African name. Now who you gonna blame? Right. When they drop the bombs out of them planes, using depleted uranium, babies looking like two-headed aliens. Follow the money trail at least. Depleted uranium. This guy knows what he's fucking talking about. And babies looking like two-headed aliens. I think he's talking about deformities that are are caused by uh, ra radioactive. Uh, just just like a. What am I trying to think of? Basically, like like after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, for generations they had like like birth defects and like all these different things. You guys know the word I'm I'm trying to think of, but uh, yeah. Depleted uranium, babies looking like two-headed aliens. Follow the money trail that leads to the criminal, and nothing subliminal to it. That's how they do it. See the game they run. Give a fuck if he's cunning, articulate, and handsome. Afghanistan held for ransom by the hand of this black man, neo colonial puppet, white power with a black face. He said, fuck it out. <laughs> oh shit, he's going in. Is this 
is this the dude from Dead Prez? Because Dead Prez was like an underground, like, like kind of a conscious rapper uh, or rap group. So this must be M1 from Dead Prez. But yeah, dude, hang on. Let's catch that. Let's catch those. Looking like two headed aliens Follow the money trail that leads to the criminal And nothing subliminal to it That's how they do it See the game they run Give a fuck if he's cunning Articulate and handsome Afghanistan held for ransom By the hand of this black man Neo-colonial puppet White power with a black face He said fuck it out White power with a black face You know what black face is Where like uh, You know The, the old minstrel minst, minst, menstrual cycles no the old minstrel shows they did where they would like basically i'm pretty i think black people would put on like black uh like like even blacker makeup and like uh act like uh basically the stereotypes they had of of black people i think I, i'm pretty sure that's what blackface was or it or it was also white people doing it but anyway that was a that was a nice play on words right there. White power, but but with a black face because he's obviously black too. But he also said, "Follow the money trail; it leads to the criminal." Follow the money, bro. Follow the money. And he said, "Afghanistan held for ransom." He's saying it, man. Like Bush and Obama didn't have that different of interventionist war policies. Like it was. It started off, you know, I said this in the last video, Obama's campaign kind of started on the like, we don't need to be there, we're going to pull him out, first day of inauguration, first day, he flip flopped, he's like, okay, we'll, we'll do a six months withdrawal of like half the troops in uh, Afghanistan, I forget which country, but, and then it was like, okay, we're going to have to do it longer, okay, we're going to have to have like even more people, and then private military contracting, uh, skyrocketed during those times too because they were like okay we withdrew you know like 5,000 uh, US troops from Afghanistan but they didn't put in the headlines that they just put in like you know 20,000 private military contractors this black man neo-colonial puppet white power with a black face he said fuck it I'll do it I'm He's saying nothing's changed. Neo-colonial puppet. They're talking about American imperialism, you know. Basically, America's continuing the col the colonization of the world in a way. Like the subversive colonization, though. It's not blatant, but, well, it's not blatant to most people. A master of the skies, expert at telling lies. Then they gave him a Nobel Peace Prize. And he also said, I don't care if you, you're eloquent and you speak well. Like he's, And that's the thing, man. He was well-spoken, well-put-together. Don't hit me with that. Oh, you're saying a black guy's well-spoken. Bro, he's more well-spoken than most white people I talk to. All right, fuck off. <laughs> a master of the skies, expert at telling lies. Then they gave him a Nobel Peace Prize. Should have known he was trained in Chicago. Where the chairman Fred and Mark Clark, what they do in the dark will come out in the light like a WikiLeaks site. So I guess the crew was right. Who's ready to fight? Last stage of imperialism, I ain't kidding. And the immortal words of Marvin Gaye, this ain't living. <laughs> also, guys, I'm not cutting myself. This is called tree work right here. I don't know if you can see it. This is real tree work, bro. Destroy the body to make the mind impenetrable. Anyway, man, he said that, ugh, talked about WikiLeaks. Hang on, man. He's packing way too much heat in here. So I guess the crew was right. Who's ready to fight? Last stage of imperialism. I ain't kidding. In the immortal words of Marvin Gaye, this ain't living. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if BIC was a reference to Bilderberg, but uh, 
Yeah, Obama, he's... Now, granted, Obama is always going to talk to the CIA. That's the president's... That's basically, like, the president's secret hand, the CIA. But at the same time, he met with... Him. Yeah. Yeah. What is BIC? Com if you know what BIC is, comment below and let me know. Code name for CIA. Said he's sitting in the White House, so who cares if he's black? Gonna send the troops, you gonna drop the news. See, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. He's sitting in the White House, so who cares if he's black? And why is there soldiers still out there in the rack? Natural resources ain't yours, it's theirs, give it back. You're just another mm. oil. It's like that Dave Chappelle's Chappelle skit. It's like what, what do you say about the people who are criticizing you, saying you're going into the Middle East for oil? It's like, oil? Bitch, who said anything about oil? Is you cooking? It's like, now, now stop asking me these stupid-ass questions. I'm trying to get that oil. Oil. <laughs> oil. I just butchered that, bro. I butchered that, but it's a great sketch. But, uh, yeah, man, come on. You mean to tell me once we find out there are fuck tons of reserves there all of a sudden we just happen to need to go there to prevent terrorism i don't know man watch the first abomination too uh that i did too because you'll you'll get a context for where my my head's at with all this shit because it might might just be coming out of left field but there in the rack natural resources ain't yours it's theirs give it back you're just another puppet but i'm not surprised look at colin powell and condoleezza rice they didn't change shit house niggas fresh off the slave ship you all burn in hell even michelle obama nation he called him house bro he called him house folk bro That's not to be taken lightly. You all burn in hell, even Michelle abomination. I just gotta say this, bro. My sisters love Michelle Obama. Cause I guess she has like this new podcast and shit, and they're like, Yeah, I'd vote for her if she ran for president. It's like <sighs> Like I dude, people I love say shit all the time and I'm just like, What are you talking about? Like, I have the curse of I don't mean to toot, toot my own horn here, but I have the curse of not brilliance, but being able to like look at stuff and be like, okay, but that doesn't really add up. What what is what's you know behind this? You know, questioning things. But anyway, it's like Michelle Obama too, bro. Like she was, she's just as much of a politician and deceiver as Obama was, man. You know, and I don't even I don't swing one way or the other. I really don't, dude. I know I'm pretty much in the center, generally speaking, whatever that even means, dude, whatever that even means these days. But it's like, come on, man. A deceiver is a deceiver. I don't give a fuck if they're left or right. Oh shit. Oh, low key's coming in, bro. Low key's coming in. Please don't tell me that Lupe doesn't have a verse, man. Please don't tell me Lupe was just sampled and that's why they put him as a feature. But we got low key. Mm. Right off the bat, what's the bigger threat, Osama or Obama? He's like, I'm not buying any of this shit. Wait, wait, wait. Okinawa, Japan? <laughs> Military bases all over, man. It's not Uber everywhere. Military bases everywhere. Things that other rappers won't say, cause my mind never closed like Guantanamo Bay. Cause that was another thing. He's like, we're gonna close Guantanamo Bay, and he didn't. He's like, my my mind. 
my mind never closed like Guantanamo Bay. It's like I say the other shit that these other rappers won't say. Won't say cause my mind never closed like Guantanamo Bay. Hope you didn't feel the statue or tattoo your arm cause the drones are still flying over Crash Tunistan. Did he defend the war? Yep. He extended more, even had the time to attempt to coup in Ecuador, Morales and Chavez. Dude, this is exactly what I was saying in the last one. He's no different. If anything, he was worse. Like, dude, I like the people like I have friends who are quote liberals who voted for Obama. And like even they said they were like, yeah, man, like this dude, like we're not happy with this. He's he was a brilliant speaker. Like he convinced people like hope change all this shit. I actually saw Obama speak. I saw Obama speak when I was really young, and I was moved, dude. I, granted, I was like fucking seven or eight or something, but I was moved. Like, I had not, like, I'd seen George Bush speak. I'd seen other presidential candidates speak, and even at seven or eight, I was like, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. Then first day in, it's just business as usual, man. War, no. He extended more, even had the time to attempt to coup in Ecuador, Morales and Chavez. The states are on the hunt for your military now. The CIA assassinated Chavez, just so you know. And I don't know about Morales. Is he? I don't know. I'll have to look into him, but Chavez was killed by... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. It was either Chavez or... Uh... Who was that other... God damn it, bro. He was some other revolutionary. Not uh... Simon Bolivar, of course, but... uh. Fuck, bro. I'm. I'll remember it, but I'll post. Yeah, I'll remember it. Aim to attempt to coup in Ecuador, Morales and Chavez. The states are on the hunt for your military now stationed on bases in Colombia. Take a trip mm. to the past and tell them I was right. Ask Ali Abu Nima and Jeremiah Wright. Drones over Pakistan, Yemen and Libya. Let me know who those dudes are. Ask Ali Abu Nima and Jeremiah Wright. Drones over Pakistan, Yemen and Libya. Is Obama the bomber getting ready for Syria? First black president, the masses were hungry. Hang on, I just gotta say this too. It wasn't even just war drone strikes. Obama literally authorized a drone strike on a on an American citizen in Yemen. And then I think also in Yemen, like two weeks later, authorized a drone strike on his 16-year-old son. So we drone strike the father over in the Middle East and then drone strike his son like two weeks later, 16 years old. Now granted, I'm pretty sure they were probably terrorists but i don't know that much about it but i know that they were u.s citizens u.s citizens no due process no nothing blew them fucking sky high is obama the bomber getting ready for syria first black president the masses were hungry but the same president just bombed an african country like Ooh. the masses were hungry first black president the masses were hungry something something but he just bombed a an African country. President, the masses were hungry, but the same president just bombed an African country. Mm -hmm. Like, I like his shirt too. Australia has Black History. <laughs> yeah. The Jonas Brothers are here. They're out there somewhere. Sasha and Malia are huge fans. I've but, uh, boys don't get any ideas. Yeah, I have two words before. for you. Predator drones. <laughs> <laughs> you will never see it coming. <laughs> see, bro, I, I hated Obama's policies. Like, okay, when I was alive during obama i didn't know that much but looking back i i hate his policies but he's funny man he's charismatic you can, you have to give that to him predator drones. predator drones you will never see it coming and he's like stone-faced while he's saying it too so <laughs> it makes it that much worse i'm joking <laughs> yeah yeah under President Obama, the United States military has used 
unmanned predator drones to drop bombs on. Let's see the list. Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, Yemen, Libya. Wait, wait, wait. Even famine-stricken Somalia. Still laughing? I mean, not anymore. I'm not laughing anymore, but... That, that joke about predator drones was kind of funny, so I kind of am still laughing, but yeah. I mean, honestly, I like the first one better just because it seems like Loki was able to do it kind of on his own, and he was able to go into more depth with it. Um, but I do like that he got more people to kind of speak about, or like give a platform to other conscious people who understood what was going on at the time about it. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, like he's... He knows what he's talking about. You know, he wasn't buying into the bullshit. He wasn't just deciding he was going to get in line. Oh, yeah, black president. Woohoo. He was like, dude, I don't give a fuck if you're black. Like, I see what you're doing. And I, I respect that, man. Like, that's the thing. It's like content of your character. I don't know if it was in this one or the one before. I was like, Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream was to have people judged by the... Not by their skin color, but the content of their character. That's what we need to do, man. You want to have an actual progressive society? Judge people on their character. Judge people on, on how respectful they are. If, if, they, if they're if they a good person. Honestly, fuck, fuck with their... Uh, fuck if they have a vagina, a penis. I don't care. All right? Fuck if they're black, white, uh, any other color in between on the spectrum. Who cares? Honestly, dude, like, I've met, like, dude, there are white people I hate more than any other people of any other race, just because they're fucking assholes, but, either way, man, that's all I'm saying is, like, content of their character, that's what matters, period. Chester P. coming soon.